chunk right there, boy. From the old nickel sledgehammer shad spawn color. Mr. Twister Buzz Bug. God, look at how fat that joker is. Sledgehammer. Laid the wood to them boys. Talk about stuck. We're never getting off. Buddy. <laughs> we yanked him a couple feet. Guys, I just wanted to take a few moments and uh, go through my swim jig setup. Uh, for right now, the shatter spawning, uh, it's that time of the year. And I'll tell you, 99% of the time, that's all I throw. We might as well say 100. Um, that's a nickel sledgehammer, a 3 8 ounce. Uh, that's my color. I call it shad spawn. And this right here, my trailer I always use is a, a white Mr. Twister buzz bug. I, I just... I don't know how many hundreds, th probably thousands of fish I've caught on that setup right there. Uh, man, I use a big rod. Um, you know, some people like a 7.1. This right here uh, is a 7.64 uh, Phoenix Recon Elite. I, I, I just, you know, I can reach out and touch them on this, get a good hook set. I've got plenty of rod to fight them back. Uh, I use big braid. This is a 80 pound Yozuri Super Braid, man. When I, when I hit them, I want them coming in the boat. Big line, big rod, uh, the, the sledgehammer, man, you're, you're not going to bend that hook. I've hit them as hard as I can possibly hit them, fish after fish. Um, video you'll see today, I think we only did it for probably 30 minutes, caught five or six. Uh, one, uh, maybe one, three and a half, you know, but I, it's one of those deals where if we'd bared down at it all day, it, it probably would have turned out a lot better but it, we've just been moving around uh, fishing different baits but yeah this uh that's my setup man the, the nickel sledgehammer jig the mr twister buzz bug the 3 8 ounce that's that's what i pretty much swim 100 percent of the time as well 80 pound yozuri super braid you're you're not gonna bust that boy you you hit them as hard as hard as you want to another deal man on my reels i always throw six two ratio reels i Especially on a swim jig, I you just I see guys working them way too fast, and when the fish has that much there to eat, as chances are he's not coming to eat your jig if he's got a live one there. So you you better slow it down and let him get a few good looks at it if uh, you want to catch him. But uh, that's my setup. If you got any questions, feel free to message me.